Hello folks and welcome back to Vintage Survival and here we are we've got the tether out and we are tedding our grass so we need to get this done very sharpish as we're starting to lose daylight here we're going to lose daylight rather quickly so what I want to do is in this episode the goal is going to be get the forage wagon that's going to cost about three grand or so so it was quite a fair few trips, but thankfully we have taken delivery of our bed for our pickup. So with our pickup, it has a options for different kind of beds on it, and we've got one that allows us to carry some basic materials. So along with the trader, which is eight thousand liters, we've also got the pickup itself which can hold a similar amount I think, so I think once we get this pass down here done, I'm going to go up on the other side and get out a little bit we've missed but yeah, I want to get this done as quickly as possible I have tried to start doing some seeding on our contract for 54 however, we've run out of seed, that used 200 litres only got us, what, 43% of the contract done, so we're going to need to purchase a bag of seed. That's going to cost us at least 800 quid. So, I think that's what we do is if we get our first load of hay done, then quickly get a bag of seeds. The first seeds we can do overnight. I'd rather get this field done now so this will start growing again in January. Then, in January, what we can do is cut that field. And hopefully if we have enough money, we could not only have a forge wagon, but a wind rower. So, then again, we could cut, Ted, wind row, and then pick up with a forge wagon. It's going to speed things up, save us having to load it manually, like in the first episode. And then from there, we can start looking out again, yeah, get some of these contracts done, so... Fertilizing should be an interesting one as well. Do we have enough fertilizer? I don't know. How much is it going to consume? Again, I do not know. And yeah, there are bits of grass where we forgot to cut in that. Our mist, actually. Rather than forgetting it's actually more mist to cut it. But yeah. So let's go and get the pickup. And then let's get this all loaded up. And there we go, so yeah, got the pickup here, so we converted the beds into a, basically, a little, just some wooden panels on. And then, Bob's your uncle, we can transport stuff, so I think for now we'll put this to the side of the road. Turn the engine off, so we know that holds 8,000 litres. How much does this carry, so... on so that is what not about a fifth of it if I say at least a fifth yeah a fifth give or take so maybe around eight to ten thousand litres so if that's the case then it's not too bad but yeah we need a forage wagon because this it's right, but it does take a while to do, and it is a bit of a knack off. Just getting the forks down just enough so we're not just absolutely destroying this, like we're doing at the moment. There we go. And the way it acts like a little devil as well. But yeah, as well, when it comes to what we can do next, I'm thinking. I don't know, at some point, if we can get a side clamp, then we're going to have to do hay in that, so we can use silage, so... But that is 3,000 litres, so that is 10,000 litres of a hold, so yeah. Let's get this all done, get it filled up, and then we'll get the hay sold.
go. This should be the final load for the trailer. There we go. So yeah, we've got a thousand litres left in the bucket. So that. Turn the engine off. So yeah, that is 18,000 litres we've got here. That means we can transport more hay in that in one go. And in the future when we do harvesting in that, or even like some of these harvesting contracts, then we will be able to just transport a lot more in one go. Saves on the amount of trips we need to do, saves on the fuel we use. I'm not sure if the other cell point is worth more than this, but for being using this same cell point, so I thought, heck it, we'll use this one, and yeah, light is fading, so I'm hoping we have enough to get a, at very least, the cedar in that, not cedar, the forge wagon, if not, I went to just accept having seen that they would get that contract done so how much will we have I do think it's gonna be enough two thousand three hundred twenty five hundred come on ah but yeah still two grand for what just that one little bit there so that is was it enough for the wind rower at least? Um, have a look here. So, wind rower. We have got enough for the wind rower. So, yeah, I think if we. Because we want the wind rower, that's 1300. And the forge wagon is 3400. So, that is 4700 we need. So, we need another 2200. So, yeah, let's get this scene contract done. And then we'll have enough for the wind rower and the forge wagon. Alright, so we've got the Fiat here, the Fiat Tagri. And yeah, we'll head to the dealership and get the seat. So that's going to cost us 800 quid. So big bag, seat, just the one for now. Actually, will we have enough? after the cost and all that. I don't know, but at least worst case scenario we'll have enough anyways. So it's two hundred years and we're gonna need to come back anyways one more time to get that filled, so because yeah if if it's forty three percent for two hundred years then yeah math says we're gonna need to at least do another Loads. But overall, it will be worth it. Seat is worth it. I'm not saying it's not worth it, I'm just saying it's taking cuts of the profits that we, as far as at the moment, can do with not losing. So we go, drop it down. And I can tell where we're going at the moment. Lights on this. Seems to be going in the V direction, so yeah, let's get a contract completed as we're going off course. And then, yeah, we'll see where we stand afterwards once we're done. Well, we didn't have enough money, just did the calculations, so what we got done is just complete the other contract. So now, got all three contracts completed. That means now we're at £7,500. That is more than enough for what we need. So, actually, you know what? Let's go and purchase new stuff now. So, we want the wind rower. Now nah, we'll keep that. And we'll have the forge wagon. So,. Where's that two? There it is. So we want you. Yep, no one can pay the premium for that. Aluminium, nope. The lower attacher. I think let's keep it relatively standard. Yeah, let's keep the red wheels and that. 
After that, that leaves us with 2,700 quid. And I'm thinking what we can also do is have a chainsaw because we've got some trees that we can do with cutting down. So, you know, purchase a chainsaw. It is a bit of an expense out of grand, but that'd be worth it because some of those trees by the yard we can cut down and sell. I don't think he will do it in this episode, I think we'll do it in like in the next episode or so. That still leaves us with a grand because also in the next episode what we want to do is do some harvesting contracts. So obviously it's a grand a month per three fields, so it's two fields or three fields, I can't remember, but again we speak to the issue. I think it's three fields but can it be two fields? But anyways, I'm gonna go to the farm now, put this way, and we'll reconvene in the morning and get rest of hay picked up. And good morning, here we are. So we're gonna pick up the wind rower. And I was wondering, could we use the pickup to wind row? Seems to fit in that on it, but could we actually get it to work so oh yeah the problem is now grass is grown but we can still see the hay in that so yeah if we can windrow this with the pickup that will make it so much quicker in that look at that we are windrowing and we can use the pickup and we're doing it at 11 miles an hour, so that is nice. That is going to make a huge change for us. Also, what I've gone and done is accept free harvesting contracts on 57, 58, and 48. So we'll get those done in the next episode. Because, yeah, I want to try to get some money up just so that we can start looking. In terms of upgrading the equipment, well, one thing we could do with is having the baiter, because I want to start planting a crop, so once we get this field done, I want to seed our first crop now. So I'm thinking something like barley or oats. Try to look at the prices, because. Actually, we can look at those prices now. So, have a look at the prices. Currently, we're in January. For grain, it'll be the best time to do it now. So, that's why I want to get these contracts done. But yeah, I'm thinking either something like oats or sorghum. That's four months. So, February. Let's say if you plant it in January, that's February, March, April, May. So we're looking around May, and uh, yeah, prices are go down and down. Barley though will take six months, so that's going to be even worse. Actually, I'm thinking soybeans, because they're going to take, what, about six months to grow? So that is February, March, April, May, June, July. That would be at its peak price. So let's do soybeans in this field here. Because then come July, be at its peak price of around four grand per thousand litres. So, and that is going to be huge for us. So yeah. So that is, yeah, the wind rowing is going to make all the difference for us. And actually, I think one thing I would do is. Sorry, just do say one or two passes along the bottom here, just so that when we're working and turning around, we don't go into the road. That's going to be a problem for us. So, should want to do one more, I think, because yeah, at the end of the day, it's obviously ensure our safety in that. Last thing I want is getting involved in a collision because 
Yeah, this is a beat up little pickup here, or the bed that this is, but it is brand new it is, so a couple of years old now. But still, don't wreck on it. And yeah. As I said before, this is not absolutely huge for us. So let's go. Oops. Time's back up there. So yeah, that's that. And we'll get the dice far. We'll stop that on the ground. So for now, we'll whack this over here. Actually, how much are tr logs worth at the moment? Is it going to be worth good now? Uh, January, February for the wood chips. Woods, pretty stable all year round. But yeah, we could take it to the carpentry, earning grants, and also loading it onto the train. But that's not worth much at the moment. So yeah, the carpentry seems to be the best place. So, especially, see, I'm thinking like clearing away here. So I'm thinking cut these two trees here down. So these are Shack Park hickories. And leave a bit, just we'll leave a bit of a stump so then we can get the stump grinder. Oh, yeah, how much is it going to be for a stump grinder? I haven't thought about that. In hindsight, I probably should have done it towards the yard and that. But yeah, so we've got to cut off all these branches. Uh, yeah, this will take a little bit of a while, I think, but I think overall it'll be worth it. So, with that sorted, just quickly, if all, just quickly get some of these chopped up, spit the logs down a little bit. So, these are handleable and transportable, so... And actually, I think we can get them into the back of the pickup as well, actually, in that bed, so... Yeah, we're we'll going to sell these in a bit. For now, we need to prioritise getting this hay sorted so then we can start looking about getting this field turned over. Once we get this planted, then we we'll can start looking at getting that grass field sorted. And I think we'll still keep the grass field over there. Because it would be good to just have grass a bit all year round than that. And even when it's at its worst price, at the moment it's good. It's the price for grass and hay and all that. But even when it gets low in that, it's still a little bit of extra income for us at the moment. And until we get bigger fields in that, and even to the point where we can actually afford our own combine in that. Because, yeah, that's going to be a ways away yet. There we go. Just stop pile all this. I'll keep my eyes on the use market now. If there's a, you know, a combine that's had a couple of hours on it, that suits us and that, then yeah, we'll go and buy it. So I think the combine itself, we want to go and purchase a combine outright. We're looking at either 100 grand for a, the latest model, or for a few years old, we're looking at 44 grand. I think there's op options for other ones around the 30 grand mark, but I think that's going to be the thing for us, is having our own combine, having our own equipment, but that will be down the road, so let's hop into the dice farm, and I will put my equipment away at some point, just at the moment we want to focus on the main task at hand and that's going to be getting this sorted so I think our cedar can also direct drill but because it's grass and that I'll still cultivate it over so yeah the cedar is here as well that's topped up and we've got half a bag's worth so we should just have just enough seed in that to get that field sorted. I think 54 is bigger than ours, so 
Yeah, makes sense. Okay, let's go and grab the pay and see how much we get for our first note. So if anything, the, sh the demand should be a little bit more now, so... There we go. Let's go unfold. There we go. And that is so much easier, that is. I mean, just look at that, it is so much easier compared to what we was doing previously, so... You know what? Let's get all this sorted. And then, yeah, we'll see how much we'll sell for our first load, so... Yeah, let me get all this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. So, this ain't quite the final though, still got a little bit more hay to pick up. Maybe about a quarter to half a load or so. And yeah, I'm making decent money from it, and certainly speeding it up it is. Compared to messing around with for loader with this, and all that, so... Yeah, I'm making about 1500 per load, just under that. Also, you may have noticed, we have loaded up the pickup with some wood now. So the wood we're going to be selling. So the wood in this goes to the biomass heating plant by the looks of it. And I've got no idea where that is. So looking at the map, options are the sawmill, which is all the way up there. Or I think it's one of these down here is the biomass. No. Ah, it's that one here, by my heating plant, so all you have to do is come out of here, turn left, and turn right down the lane by 57.58, and it's straight down there, so you want to head down there because, yeah, the chainsaw that was expensive. So, yeah, let's issue this one here. Ooh, put the rest of the traps on. Ah, oh, dang it. Uh, don't destroy some of the crop there. But yeah, these are 57 half 58 we're going to be doing. And they are huge fields, they are. And I mean, absolutely huge. So, 
Oh, there we go. I have to buy my seed plant. Well, compared to what... I think what was it was a 4 meter or 5 meter header we've got, so... How much did we get from this? Ah! Only 400 quid, so... We have not made money on that chainsaw, but hey, it's just one tree. And it is, in fairness, a relatively cheap tree, so... Yeah, I'm thinking down the road, we could start looking at... We could find a cheap, basically, tree planter and that. On the market and that, then yeah, we'll go grab one. And plant some trees. So yeah, all we got here is just a couple of little bits left, so... Let's get this finished up, and then that's where we all think we'll leave it for the day. bit of the hay and yeah how much should we get 7644 quid in total so yeah even after setting up those logs and that yeah that was maybe a show for a cheaper one now a cheaper even like a handsaw could have used but anyways it is what it is at the end of the day and yeah, I think next what we'll do is we start to focus on turning this field around. But we've still got a bit of time now. I think in the next episode, if we spend a couple of hours doing some of these harvesting contracts, hopefully we will take too long to do. That is my hope at least. I do wonder if there's any like local help around. They want to look for like farm work and that. So then in the first case, if we get someone in to help out, that'd be handy because they could be on the combine or whatever, or doing the cultivating. And then, yeah, we could just do our own thing. Whether it's doing the harvesting, or doing the cultivation and seeding. So, I think, actually, one thing we'll do is, we'll go to the dealer and get that combine. <laughs> It's time to fill this issue just over here, so it's not too far of a trek for us. There we go, let's get that hooked up. That is 18,000 years there in total. So in theory, should be not too many trips we have to make. Oh yeah, there's a decent area here as well, so don't need to worry about... Ah, uh, what's it? Getting into the road. Actually, what's this field here? Parsnip. I do want to do the root crops, but how I don't have any equipment to drill it. If other people drill, then we can harvest it ourselves, because there is some cheap harvesters and that we can use, so... Well, I say harvesters, it's harvesting equipment, so if we have a look here... Where is it to? At the end, we've got several options, like for where you want to do potatoes. But yeah, something like this, £6,200. But remember, we can't lease, it's have to buy only, because that's how I am. So we have to buy that, that's going to be 6200 quid. Along with that, which is 5600 quid. So in total, just for that, that is, what, 10 11 so say 11,800 quid, 12,000 pounds. Yeah, 12,000 £12, pounds because you wouldn't hitch on that. So I think with the hitch on that, what we can do is hook it onto the back of this trailer, but it's only, what, 8,000 litres? That's going to that's gonna be just a minefield, like... Because then when I start looking at trailers, and again, trailers-wise, I think we're going to be looking at Around 20 grand, 10 to 20 grand for a new trader. For this one here, 10,000 litres, that is 11 grand. Or if you want to go a bit more, 18,500 litres. Does that have a hitch on the back? Yes, it does. Is it the same thing for the front here? Isn't Yeah, it's a pin hook, not a ball pin. 
or even something like this. That is 25,000 litres for 20 grand. And that is an option for us. That is brand new for us. Mid 80s and that. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I generally I do not know. So, actually, what we'll do in the next episode, we'll go around this and we'll start ripping up the fields. Because, yeah, it's going to be a grand to do the harvesting, but even though it's going to take us a while, it will take us ages to do. But if get these contracts done, that is four, seven, eight, two, nine grand for those three contracts. Plus whatever extra we can get. Obviously it's all different crops, but still. This is the farmer's market, so it's just around the corner for us. And with the pickup, ain't too bad. That's why, because we're using the pickup for so much stuff. Apart from when it comes to plowing or whatever, maybe, when I think about getting another tractor and that, but another tractor for us is what, about 30 grand or so, between 30 and 50 grand, if we have a look here, 11 grand for these, so at the moment we've got 82 horsepower, so ideally I want something around 100, so that's 150 horsepower for 60 grand. That's what we've got at the moment. 88 grand for that. But what about medium tractors? Do we go up a notch? Again, we're looking at 58 grand, 450 horsepower. 91 grand. 79 grand for 150. So yeah, we've got two options here. We've got the Fiat Agri 180 90, 180 horsepower for 33 and a half grand. Or for 31,800 quid, we can go with the Whitefield Field Boss. But the thing is, can we get a three point hitch on it? And that's the thing as well I want is a three point hitch. That doesn't have a three point hitch on the front. That does. So, again, we got options for us. But for the time being, I'm not worried about needing new equipment and that, new tractors and that. That's going to be for another 10 episodes or so down the road. But, anyways, we've come to the end of the episode here. And as always, Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to go down below. If you want to share with them, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for just to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, it's before our envoy stream. And I'll see you all very soon.